There was a meteor shower last night. The strike zone was very large, covering the entire countryside of Mondstadt and Liyue. The meteorites seem to harbor a strange power. A power that sends any who touch them into a deep sleep. The guild believes the meteorites to be highly dangerous. Whoa, that does sound pretty serious. Truth be told, we have never encountered anything like this before. The Adventurous Guild is currently stretched beyond capacity. We are relying on our members across the land to rally together and support the relief effort at this trying time. One moment. Safety must come first. Catherine! Vassal of the Imanachaik? Do mine ears deceive me? Or didst thou cry out mine holy name in earnest supplication not one moment ago? Ah, you've arrived. A pleasure to meet you again, Catherine. Did that raven just speak? <laughs> nice to meet you too, my friend. Though I'm sure you must have seen phenomena far stranger than myself before. My loyal subjects, I see your faces are filled with fear and trepidation at the vile and villainous evils that once again seek, albeit in vain, to disturb the peace and tranquility of our beloved Mondstadt. Traveler, allow me to introduce Miss Fischl, a senior member of the Adventurers Guild. Fischl? Oz? This is the Traveler of whom I have spoken to you previously. Oh, you are the Traveler? Mm-hmm. <laughs> One finds the look in your eyes to be most agreeable. Honorary Knight of the Knights of Favonius and Travel Companion Paimon, we are honored to meet you both. We have heard much about you. Traveler, do you also mean to confront these cryptic crystals of darkness and doom? Uh, Chris, cryptic cryptos of doomness and what? I believe that Main Fräulein does indeed refer to the meteorite strike. The Adventurous Guild has so far been unable to ascertain the cause of the meteor shower, or the precise side effects of the meteorites. Hence, we recommend that adventurers travel in pairs for safety. Traveler, Fischl, please look out for one another on your journey, and exercise extreme caution at all times. Hmm. <laughs> Very well then. You have always been a pious vassal, Catherine, and thus I shall acquiesce to your heartfelt plea for mine assistance. Rejoice, for to join the Princess de Ertelung on her majestic mission for but a fleeting moment is surely cause for an eternity of elation. This young lady is my master, Princess Fischl. She hails from a world beyond known as Imanachreich. I am Main Fräulein's humble familiar, Oz the Raven. Wow, that all sounds very impressive. My name's Paimon, and she's a traveler. We look forward to working with you. In time, you will understand. The more time you spend with Miss Fischl, the clearer everything will become. <sighs> Blind to the glory of the Imernachreich, realm of everlasting night. Though one can hardly expect more from a lowly traveler. Hence, it is not blasphemy but ignorance that be the cause of this transgression. One will therefore show clemency. Clemency? Main Fräulein means to say, hello. These guys are the weirdest double act Paimon's ever seen. The girl sounds strange enough as it is, but every time her pet bird talks, it gets even weirder. I am sure that you must have many questions. Perhaps we can walk, or indeed fly, and talk. Oh, and that's another thing. 
what's all this about traveling in pairs? This is clearly a party of four. Springville now. Catherine said that this is the closest impact site to the city. The situation looks even worse than we imagined. Ring the bells! Sound the trumpets, for the day of judgment is upon us. Rejoice, all ye who cry out for salvation, for the princess and death of Ertelung has come. This princess lady seems really enthusiastic. Dear mortals, in this dark hour, your princessin permits you to forego the usual etiquette and simply relay your account of the matter at hand forthrightly. Uh, excuse me, who are you? We come in peace, good sir. We were just hoping that you could reveal whatever you know about this poor victim's situation. Wait, wait, stop! Let Paimon explain! We're from the Adventurers Guild. They commissioned us to come here and investigate after the meteor shower. Oh, I see. Well, last night this fellow touched the meteorite, and then he fainted just moments later. So, however you plan to conduct your investigation, I implore you, do not, under any circumstances, touch the meteorites with your bare hands. What ridiculous remonstration is this? Is one not under the divine protection of one's Edelstein der Dunkelheit, and thus impervious to the trifling threat posed by this petty piece of black crystal? On the contrary, main Fräulein. Wise is the princess who is receptive to the sound advice offered by her subjects. Is that so? Very well then. One shall proceed as advised. That goes for you too. Wise is the adventurer who is receptive to the sound advice offered by smart people. <laughs> Paimon never gets to talk like that. Oh, Paimon could get used to it though. You dare to parrot the parlance of the princessin? Uh, what could one hope to comprehend of the lamenting of a thousand dying worlds with the sagacity of a mere mortal? Perhaps it is better that you remain in blissful ignorance, for the burden of fate borne by the princessin de Ertelung would surely be too much for thy shoulders. Another victim! Pray tell, O oh knight, what tragedy befell this unfortunate subject of mine. Um, he, he's been sleeping all day and shows no signs of waking up. And not that I've seen so far, although occasionally he talks in his sleep. <sighs> Can't go on. Need to rest. What's going on? Why is he saying that? His dark dream harbors a forbidden fruit, poised between the jaws of a ferocious beast. Woe well betide the weak should they peer into its eyes, as black as a moonless midnight, for they shall surely be lured into the abyss. Do you mean there's something luring him in his dream? Though we have no evidence to prove it, Main Fräulein's intuition has never failed her before. Mm hmm. Well, let's keep investigating anyway. Greetings. I am Sister Edna. 
I am here to nurse the sick. State your name at once, you heinous heathen of nefarious nightmares! My apologies. Main Fräulein was not addressing you. This man lying on the ground, has he spoken at all? I believe he said something about having to get back to work. The wine. Uh, the, the wine. He seems to be sleeping deeply indeed. This is no ordinary dream. This man, he has been cursed. Can't you just wake him up? I've tried. He awoke once for a brief moment, but quickly lapsed back into sleep. Um, did he tell you anything while he was awake? He said he dreamed he was on top of a mountain, and it was very cold there. Mm. Mountain... cold. This has the trappings of a cruel, cold curse by a mountain-dwelling demon. Alas, one fears these demons have descended from their icy peaks and now covet the domain of the Spring Fairy. This is a most grave state of affairs. But fear not, for damnation is mine to dispense. Uh, sorry to interrupt you folks. Do you have a moment to spare? Oh, hey, Draft. Um, what's the matter? It's... I... I can hardly get the words out. One of the meteorites struck the hill behind our village. Alan told everyone he was going to go see it for himself. And then, sure enough, he just ran off. You've seen how dangerous these confounded meteorites are. I'm afraid something may have happened to him. Could you come with me to find him and bring him back? Uh, wait. So, big blazing rocks fall out of the sky, and all Alan's worried about is missing out on the action? Exactly. Once we get that rascal back safely, he's due for the scolding of a lifetime, if you ask me. Paimon could not agree more. Let's go find that rascal and drag him back by the ears. going to die here. You fool. What were you thinking? Gallivanting off on your own at a time like this? I I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I sincerely apologize for the trouble Alan has caused for you all. I will make absolutely sure that he learns his lesson. Yeah, next time you think about doing something stupid, think again. Paimon's gonna go take a closer look. Huh? Princess, your vision is flashing. Oh, could it be perchance that mine Edelstein der Dunkelheit portends the certain demise of this unholy hex of cold? Maybe? What kind of things does your vision react to exactly? The profoundest of enigmas. The whispered secrets of the stars. Unholy hexes of demon bones and... What? Why do you have to talk so funny all the time? Byron doesn't understand! Our apologies. Main Fräulein is not well versed in the parlance of the common folk. Oh, so that's what you're for. To translate? 
I fear you misunderstand. I am no translator, but a humble conveyor of Main Fräulein's royal will. I would venture that what her vision is reacting to in this vicinity is, quite simply, elemental energy. <laughs> Thank you, Oz. Those whose minds are muddled by the mundane matters of this woeful world are unable to fathom my noble intent as swiftly as thou art. So, there's elemental energy in the meteorite, and your vision flashes in response to it? Paimon thinks... probably yes? Uh, anyway, no harm in giving it a try. Let's look for shards of meteorite using Fischl's vision. Clearing them away will help make the area less dangerous. I believe we have found something. That seems to be the last of them. Do you think getting rid of them will help make things better for the Springvale villagers? The question is, are these shards of meteorite which are infused with elemental energy, the true source of the calamity, or not? Verily, I say, these meteorites are surely the source of the nefarious nightmares that assail my subjects. This I swear on my very sovereignty. Yeah, let's do that. Efforts, two of the victims have already awoken. Uh, I'm so sleepy. Uh. Great, so it did work! I do hope you are able to dispose of the rest of the meteorites around the village. This is wonderful news. It gladdens the heart. <laughs> it is most gladdening indeed. Yet the news that I would be attending to this matter in person was surely the only guarantee that my faithful subjects ever needed of a felicitous outcome. Hey, you just woke up, right? And what were you dreaming about while you were asleep? All I remember is that it was cold. I was walking along a mountain path. In the ice and snow, I think. So, just hiking in the mountains? Or were you supposed to have a, a destination? Uh, I r really don't know. In my dream, it felt like I wasn't in full control of my actions. Then thou wert surely cursed, I say. Oh, wretched scourge upon this land. Well, whatever the case, what we do know is that getting rid of the meteorite shards is helping.
It's you again. <laughs> a little better, thanks. Oh, and we owe it all to you. That's great. Seems like getting rid of the meteorites is doing the trick. Traveler, your arrival is most fortuitous. Clearly, my noble ambition to protect the souls of this wretched world compelled you to seek me once more. Now, prepare to depart, for we are soon to meet with an envoy of mine further afield. Envoy? You mean a, a diplomat or something? Ah, yes. Let me fill you in here. Someone brought a message from the Dawn Winery saying that a lady there by the name of... Adeland invites you to meet with her as honored guests of the winery. Oh, we know Adeland. She's the head housemaid there, right? Ah, it seems that you and Adeland are already acquainted then. Then it is my great honor to join you. Hey, so can you really understand that princess when she's talking? Because Paimon can't seem to understand a single word. All right, all right. My dear friends, it is time to move out. Hyman hopes Adeline has made some tasty snacks to welcome her honored guests with. Welcome to the Dawn Winery, dear adventurers. I'm Adeline, the head housemaid, and it is I who invited you all here. Thanks for the invite! You are Adeline? <laughs> Splendid. I am delighted to grant you the honor of joining me for afternoon tea. Dearest Adeline, on behalf of Her Majesty Miss Fischl, the Princess de Verotalon, and I, Mein Fräulein's humble servant, thank you for inviting us. <sighs> Would you cut to the chase already? Your titles are so wordy it takes way too long to introduce yourselves. My goodness, an adventurer of such distinguished status. My pale-faced proselyte, how dare you interrupt a diplomat of the royal court in the middle of his speech? In fact, one of our employees here at the Dawn Winery, a Mr. Hartman, fell victim to the meteorite incident in Springvale. I hear that you are the ones who disposed of the meteorites. Thanks to you, Mr. Hartman is now awake. We are in your debt. It is merely common courtesy that I should invite you over for tea. This aside, there is a separate matter which I should like to enlist your help with. Aw, you're too kind, Adeline. We're really just doing what any other adventurers would have done. You may now kneel before your princessin and make effusive display of your thanks for the favor that I have generously shown to thee in thy winery ken. <sighs> Take heart, my dear servants, for the glory of my majesty will flash eternal in the Vale of Springdom. Us! Hold off on the translation. Paimon wants to have a try this time. Um, so what she's trying to say is, y you're welcome? I applaud your powers of comprehension, my dear Paimon. You decipher mine Fräulein's royal utterances with remarkable ease. The business of the winery reaches not only to all of Mondstadt, but to all the corners of Lua, too. Some of our workers do regular deliveries back and forth between the two regions, a single round trip taking several days in total. Two of our delivery staff were due back yesterday, but as of this moment, I still have no contact from them at all. I worry that they became trapped somewhere when the meteorites struck. The winery is short-staffed at present, and I cannot afford to look for them myself. 
as audacious as it may be, all I can do is ask you for assistance. Okie dokie, don't you worry, Adeline. We're expert people finders. Oh, wonderful. I suggest you begin by asking around at Stonegate. All delivery staff pass through there on their return from Liyue. There were two carts in total, and the workers' names are Fritz and Ben. So. Okay then. Catch the wind. Hello. Have you seen any Mondstadt merchants traveling through here? You know, the ones with all the wine? Ah, oh, I am afraid I have very poor eyesight. I'm not. Oh. From Mondstadt, you say? You know, I think I did see one pass through here. Really? Which way did it go? Let me think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was going towards Mondstadt. Thanks, mister! Now to chase down that cart! me half to death. Thanks so much. If you hadn't happened to be passing through this way, I would have been a goner for sure. <sighs> so, which one are you, 
Ben or Fritz? Huh? Uh, I'm Ben. How did you know my name? Per Adeline's wishes, we came here specifically to find you and ensure your well-being. Ah, uh, I suppose she must have started worrying because of the long delay. I'm afraid that Fritz's cart is stranded out on the main road between Dihua Marsh and Stone Gate. It got hit... <laughs> anyway, we agreed that I'd finish the delivery and then bring someone back to fetch him. <sighs> I really hope Fritz is okay. Between Stonegate and Dihua Marsh, right? Leave... <laughs> Pale-faced proselyte for a sharp paint. Is the guy on the floor sleeping? I believe so. I've tried everything, but he won't wake up. Looks like he touched the meteorite, just like the others. If by meteorite you mean the rock that struck the cart, worry not. I have dealt with that already using my magic. But by others. Do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a similar slumber? One has witnessed with one's own Ogdever- As Main Fräulein most eloquently describes, we have just come from Mondstadt, where many people have also fallen into an unwaking sleep. Their symptoms are identical to those of this poor gentleman here. Is that so? It appears these meteorites really made quite an impact. Seems this guy is dressed like a winery worker. And we've already met Ben, so this one must be Fritz. Given that worker's attire has precious few distinguishing features... Actually, Paimon's eyesight is normal. <laughs> and by this guy over here, you mean me. Yep, Paimon's never seen anyone dressed quite like you before. I am a vagrant from Inazuma. I had just stopped to assist this poor gentleman when you turned up. Are you investigating the aftermath of the meteorite strike? Yeah, we were sent to help out. I am Fischl, Prinzessin Dörfer Ertelung, responding to the cry of my people in their hour of need. I am Main Fräulein's humble familiar, Oz the Raven. And Paimon is an honorary knight of the Knights of Avonius's best friend. Oh? Then you must be said honorary knight of said Knights of Favonius. Behold my people, your- Um, excuse me? Don't mind her, just, you know, let her do her thing. Excuse me, what's going on here? Oh, great! Good thing you're here, Mr. Millilith. This guy's fast asleep and he won't wake up. Ah. It appears this is now in the hands of the Millilith. In which case, I am no longer needed. It was truly a pleasure to meet you all. I have other matters to attend to now, so I shall take my leave. Adventurers, I wish you every success in your endeavors. Bye-bye. So, what happened was, we came here looking for someone and found them... Thank you all for your cooperation. This Disaster relief station? You mean like a big tent with guards outside? Correct. We have a, st a wise decision. Paimon can't stop worrying about poor Fritz. We should really go check up on him. 
I suppose I... This crook. <gasps> My dice. Who are you? We've been commissioned. I see. That's Paimon wonders what he's dreaming about. <sighs> Fritz does not appear to be here. Let us keep looking. What's the hurry? It's another sleeping victim. His soul is in peace at last. Um, surely you don't mean... Main Fräulein simply wishes him a speedy recovery. Beyond this, there is no hidden meaning to her words. Come on, Fritz. Where are you? Another sleeper. Most unfortunate. Crucified to a cruel cross of calamity by... Bar there is but one... Precisely. This is so... Mm. Anyone come in that looks like an ordinary worker from Mondstadt? Yeah, the Miller. Okay. <sighs> and if I please. Pray tell of. I understand from the Miller the soldiers that you are investigating the meteorite strike. This made me wonder. Perhaps my friend. From what we've seen so far, all you need to do is get rid of the meteorites and the sleepers way back up again. Is that so? Then, if I understand you correctly, the meteorites are the cause of the victim's unconsciousness? Yep. In that case, I would like to enlist your services in that regard. Do you think you can dispose of the meteorites in the vicinity of the inn? Oh, wonderful. You have my gratitude.
Indeed, main Fräulein. Despite our best efforts to dispose of the meteorites, they continue to fall relentlessly in each corner of your vast domain. The strikes are happening faster than we can get rid of them. I, Fischl von Luftschloss, this menace is neither monster nor magic. It is a curse, I say. A curse has been placed upon the mortal realm. <sighs> Such a foul curse could only arise as a consequence of the continuous cries of unanswered longing. How very tragic. Is this the inevitable fate of mankind? It grieves me greatly. No ma Paimon didn't quite get the part about the thing being lost inside the other thing, but basically, these meteorites are a curse? Were they not a curse upon humanity, why then should they send humans into slumber? We must, Traveler, fetch me the one fated to face this fearsome foe. And who might that be? Main Fräulein is of the opinion that one with the requisite expertise should be summoned to deal with this matter. She wonders if you know of any person skilled in the... Undoing of curses? Um. Ugh. Paimon can't think of anybody either. Maybe we should just go ask Catherine. Are you saying you require an assistant? Whoa! She got it in one! Catherine must be super smart! Unfortunately not. Though I do know of an astrologist. As it happens, the traveling astrologist Mona is currently in Mondstadt. Do you know her? Never mind. Please wait here a moment. I will see if she is available. What's the matter? Mona, I'd like to introduce you to some adventurers from the guild. They've run into some problems and we're hoping that you, with your astrological abilities, may be able to resolve them. Where are they now? <laughs> Good call. I'm pleasantly surprised that they've heard of the astrologist of the century. So, you must be the one who needed my help. Come on then. Give me the lowdown. I may be willing to offer my skills. It all depends on the situation. Astrology is an ancient and mysterious art. If your problem- So, here's what's happened. And all of this was caused by the meteor shower. The darkness consumes every corner of the land. Ms. Mona. Your means are most crucial to our ends. Huh? Are you all together, then? I am Fischl von Luftschloss Prinzessin der Verur Tailung. I'm sorry, which nation are you a princess of? I hail from a distant and long-lost land known as the Imanachreich. The in my what, Reich? <sighs> Hala. Oh. Mere mortal! Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I am a highly accomplished astrologist, thank you very much. Just give me one second with my scry glass. Then we'll- Ms. Mona, sure. No, but... Uh, <clears throat> yes, you're quite so. The goal here is to get all the sleepers to wake up. Am I right? Understood. All right then, don't you worry. I will lend you a hand. First things first, though. We need to get out of the city. 
There's too much magical disturbance here. Let's head somewhere where the ley line flow is a little smoother. Open space, clear sky. This will do. I will now begin the process of hydromancy. Stay back and do not impede my vision. Astral Emissary, have thine eyes now discerned the secrets of the stars? Yeah, what did you find out? How strange. I've never seen this before. The divination shows that these meteorites came from someone's constellation. Constellation? But they don't have anything to do with real astrology, do they? That's what most people tend to think, but I've studied astrology for a very long time and I know a few things about them that you might not. The stars that make up a constellation, the Stella Fortuna, are genuine celestial bodies in the depths of space. They are not simply notional. The strange thing is that they turned to meteors all of a sudden and fell from the sky. Why this happened, I am not yet sure. I need some time. A curse! A wretched curse, I say! A curse? I, too, have journeyed to the stars, gazed beyond the veil of darkness, and glimpsed a shred of the truth. There, I saw a world cursed by human malice. Only one who died the most agonizing of deaths, could leave behind such a vengeful spirit. We must interrogate the population, find the doer of this diabolical deed. The one who created this sinister specter is the true killer. Sorry, I'm not quite following you. What curse and what killer? Uh, don't take every word she says too literally. What's going on here? Why are the Traveler and Paimon frantically winking at me? Oh, oh, I understand. Thou dost? <laughs> Marvelous! The Astral Emissary understands at last. Mutual understanding is the crucial first step towards effective teamwork. Welcome to the team, Mona. You are hereby appointed as an honored servant of the Princessin. Unleash thy power in service of our solemn duty to dispel this darkness once and for all. Honored? <laughs> you should feel honored to have found me. Without me, you'd be doing ten times the work for half the results. <laughs> Paimon likes you, Mona. You seem like the real deal. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you agree. With my astrolabe, I have ascertained the trajectory of fate. Next, I'll calculate the locations of the fallen meteorites for you. I need to look into the constellation issue in more detail. In the meantime, let me know ASAP if you find anything else out. Don't worry about it. As far as the astrological aspect goes, this will be a piece of cake. Hi, Mona! Thanks to you, we've managed to get rid of loads and loads of meteorites! Ah, good timing! There's something I need you to do. Remember how I was saying that the meteorites belong to someone's constellation? 
Theoretically, it's not possible for stars that are goodness knows how many light years away to suddenly turn into meteors and fall out of the sky. But, however paradoxical it may be, this is the reality. If we want to get to the bottom of this, the best way is to find out whose constellation it was. Based on what you've told me, it seems that all victims of the meteorites fell into a deep sleep and all of them dreamed of a snowy mountain. Now, we may not know which mountain this was, but we can safely assume that it's not Dragonspine. Otherwise, someone would have recognized it, right? Did everyone definitely have the same dream? And where exactly were they in the dream? These are the questions that we need answers to. I need you to find out more details about the sleeper's dreams. The more information we have, the closer we can get to the truth. Seems we should head somewhere with lots of people around. That way, we should be able to find more victims to question. I need to stay in an undisturbed environment. So, I will leave the investigating to you. Is there anywhere that we haven't been to yet? There is Chinksa village, in Liwa. Although it does not usually match your suggestion of somewhere with lots of people around. That said, I suspect that the Millilith will have turned that area into a site where victims can receive medical attention. Much as they did at Wangshu Inn. I'm not sure. 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 I'
Out. An ice-capped mountain looms over the world from far above the clouds. That is the place from which this burgeoning darkness proceeds. Ice-capped mountain? Is that all? It's a really, really high mountain that no one's ever seen before, and it's super cold up there. The sleepers are forced to try and climb to the summit, but they don't know why. Climb the mountain to the summit. What sort of person would wish to reach the summit of that mountain? And how is their desire strong enough to exert an influence on others? Perchance some poor soul lies there. Buried in the snow, hounded to death on the mountain. Or some intrepid explorer was exceptionally keen to conquer that particular mountain. Oh, I'll do another reading. Aha! Uh -huh. I see something here. It's a little vague, but I think I can get his name. Ah, uh, yes! Leonard. Wow, that was fast. Well, in case you'd forgotten, I am a genius. Leonard. Paimon's never heard that name before. Hi! Uh. Sounds interesting. Mind if I join you? What ho? We meet again, Vagrant of Inazuma. <laughs> My Ragnu and I were just... The first time the Millilith were present, I had to forego the chance to strike down Mondstadt's savior. This time was a perfect moment. I was mere seconds away. But who was that mage? She could not have known who I am. Perhaps her powers are real to her things unseen. Soldiers! Sir! Sir. Find them, and when you do, Another one? My lord! It's happening again. This is the largest one we've seen so far. They just keep coming. But so be it. Move out. Change of plan. Your prior objective remains in force. Continue to research the meteorites. My lord, leave them to us. We will make short work of them. Are you deaf or just stupid? When did I give you the right to issue your own orders? My, my apologies, my lord. Now move out and complete your objectives as assigned. Any junior fortune teller could have told you this, but... That man was a Fatui Harbinger. That was too close. How did you manage to get caught up with a guy like him? A Fatui Harbinger? Why, their wickedness knows no bounds. Whatever he was planning to do, he was heading straight for you. And he is an extremely powerful individual. I sensed it the moment I looked at him. He's far more powerful than you'd imagine. 
As much as it pains me to admit it. Surely his power cannot match that of the astrological genius of the century. I never said that. His strength may exceed mine by a hair's breadth, but in astrology alone, he doesn't come close. <gasps> this reminds Paimon of something. We ran into some Fatui at Wangshu in too. What interest could the Fatui have in the meteorites? They must be plotting something. <sighs> Maybe. Just maybe. Oh! The Fatui are the ones who caused the meteor shower in the first place. Was that it? Paimon, that was my line. Get your own. Sorry. Paimon's mouth just works so much faster than everyone else's. Yeah. Where'd they get the power to pull stars out of the sky? Osvaldo Hafnavines, what is thy opinion? I think that anything is possible, main Fräulein. So long as they can afford to pay the price, they will never stop sowing their seeds of destruction across the land. Fatui, your sin shall not go unremembered. I also believe that miracles can happen. Astral Emissary, you have performed admirably as a member of my retinue. I will dispatch my forces to protect you, and they will ensure that the encroaching darkness shall bring you no harm. She means... me. No need! Paimon thinks that our current lineup works just fine. No need to fix it if it ain't broke. You underestimate me, Fischl. I'm far stronger than you seem to think. Main Fräulein trusts no one more than yourself, my lady. She is simply concerned for your well-being. There's really no need. In any case, you're in a much more perilous position than I am. If anything, you need my protection. <laughs> Naturally. For now, we must deal with the new threat. My astrolabe tells me that a new meteorite has landed, and it's the biggest one yet. Looks like we made it here before the Fatui. Quick, there's no time to lose! This is the one. I sense an unprecedented amount of elemental energy within. The very heart of darkness descends upon the world. What do the Fatui want with this? Is it the elemental power? It's possible. But if that were the case, other life forms would surely be drawn to the meteorite's energy, too. Thank <laughs> you. 